Hey everyone, welcome back to another Friday Night Craft Beer Review. I'm Brian. I'm Kelly. For Short Circuit of Brewers. And tonight we are going to revisit a brewery that we've done before. And Athens, that, Ohio. In Athens, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And that is Jackie O's. And that brewery is a little unique. They went through a fire a few years ago. I talked about it a little bit before on one of the other reviews that I did. And they also use a lot of solar power to run their brewery. So that's kind of cool. And the beer that we are going to be reviewing from them is Raz Wheat. And that is a raspberry wheat ale. Mm -hmm. And what did you find out about that? Uh, it's um, fermented with a raspberry puree and it's a 5.5. The raspberry puree that they use is, they said they had 420 pounds of it to primary fermentation, which is pretty crazy. They have a 20 barrel brew house. And that's like mm, 60 or yeah, yeah, well, yeah, 20 barrel brew house. I make a neat tour. Yeah, no kidding. And they have 120 barrel fermenters that they just installed. So I don't know if that 420 pounds is going in the 20 barrel batch or the 120 barrel batch, but that's still a lot of raspberries. So <laughs> according to what it said, it's kind of, you know, it gives a little bit of a tart finish. And obviously I would think it would impart some color to it. So let's check it out and get into it. Too many for mine. Oh, sure. I'm we'll do a dual, dual pour. <laughs> well, you got a head start as usual. Oh, well, you know. Huh, I look see at, pink. Look at that. It's pretty. It, it almost pink. looks like champagne beer. Yeah. Whew, well, I think I poured mine a little strong there. <laughs> I used to be a bartender. Uh, it shows. <laughs> Maybe we'll have you pour from now on. <laughs> Almost drank it again. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Well, that's a big surprise. I'm not getting a ton of raspberry mm -hmm. scent off of it, are you? Not a ton, but I can smell it. Yeah, it's kind of subtle. And I, I brew a, the, a blueberry and a raspberry wheat, and I think the blueberry wheat probably has more character towards the blueberries. Maybe that's than... why they use so many raspberries. Maybe they um, checked out the history of raspberry fermentation and knew that they'd use a lot of them. Yeah, because I, I use an artificial yeah. flavor when I do my raspberry beer, but it doesn't... Uh... Okay, I know you're dying to get into it. It's <laughs> okay, I'm still smelling. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You know, I am getting more of the raspberry now. Yeah. So... Right, Maybe the uh, bubbles had to die a little bit. Or it warmed up a little bit in the glass, one of the two. Wow, that's raspberry. That's yummy. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some of that nice tart raspberry on it. Mm, um, that's so good. I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of like fruity beers, if you will. But, uh, you know, beers with fruit in them. <laughs> But this is actually not overpowering. It has a subtle amount of fruit flavor, but it's not like a really sweet, cloying, right. cloyingly sweet kind of uh, yeah, I'm not into fruit sweet. beer. Um, if I have anything sweet, it's usually one or two. But this is uh, not too sweet at all. It's subtle, but it's, it's um, subtle in the sweet, but strong in the flavor. Yeah, and I think it has a little bit of a bitterness from the raspberries that comes on. Like, yeah. I'm sitting here and now... Raspberry is a good choice. Yeah. ...on the palate, and it's like just a little bit of bitterness. Not like a hot bitterness, but almost like that raspberry bitterness. Mm -hmm. um, incidentally, I found out that it is a 60-40 mix. 60% uh, pale malt and 40% wheat. So, it does classify as a wheat beer, and it, it definitely has a, a good amount of body to it. It's not, not too thin. Right. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Highly carbonated, like you would expect the wheat beer to be. But, uh, yeah, I think um, mm, everything I've had from Jackie O so far has been pretty good. We did their, I can't even remember how to say it, but it's like a brown ale that they have that's like an entry-level beer, and it was good. And mm -hmm. uh, I think I think this one's a, a good one, too. This would be another one that people that don't drink craft beers would like as well. Plus, it is very refreshing mm -hmm. for, like, a hot day. I think it would be Well, in its own right, great. it's a craft beer, but if you like something more bitter... Um, but this is almost sweet, but not too sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's uh, another good beer for the summertime. If you like raspberries and you like wheat beer, I think it's a pretty good marriage of the two. And then, like I said, it's not, not overly sweet or anything like that. So, Jackie O's, mm. that was an amber ale. It was an amber that we did with mm -hmm. him. Yep, absolutely. It's delicious. So, yep. Well, Jackie O's, great job. We think. Another <laughs> Ohio brewery doing well. Cheers, everyone. This has been Brian and Kelly for Short Circuit of Brewers. You know what time it is. Have a beer. The weekend <laughs> is here. Cheers.
5.5% 5, 5, 5, 5 alcohol. Right. <laughs> the the raspberry, ras 